Hello and welcome to the Sketching Greyhound. Today we are drawing for the Buffy Club and it will be our second child, but he will be a little different. Well, a little. <laughs> so let's see how he turns out. You make me your blind with your civil rights. You demand that I As always, we are focusing on two episodes of Buffy in the Buffy Club per week. And this time it was Lie to Me and The Dark Age, the seventh and eighth episode of season two. In the Buffy Club we then nominate and then vote the person or monster or whatever uh, that we find is the most interesting or most standout of those two episodes and that is the one that I'm then drawing in the live streams on Fridays. If that sounds like fun to you, you are more than welcome to join. Just click down in the description on the link tree, find the Discord link, join our server and there you can discuss with us and decide who will be the next step that we will be drawing. The first episode, Lie to Me, that we have been talking about here is an episode that is quite interesting. Well, at least I think it is, because it tackles the topic of vampire wannabes in the Buffy universe. We don't have that too often and that is because most of the people that we get to know understand how vampires in general work in the Buffyverse. That means you lose your body more or less and a demon comes and takes your place. So not something that you ideally wish for yourself, because it does not really mean that you will be living forever, it just means that potentially a, a demon runs around in your form and lives forever. <laughs> and you are wherever your soul at that point in time would then be. So probably not something that everybody would desire, but these people, most of them, they don't know better and they really romanticize vampires, as is done a lot these days. Um, but not as dangerous in our world because, well, at least I have not met that many real vampires yet. So, uh, not that dangerous in our world, uh, pretty dangerous in theirs because it is taken advantage of by somebody who knows more or less what is happening, but he takes his chances because he's dying anyway. So, interesting plot, interesting uh, on uh, couple of levels so yeah but I, I like the episode but uh, our Giles which we were drawing for this episode did not come from this one he came from the episode the dark age the dark age is very Giles heavy in so far that we get to know uh, quite the new things about Giles that he's not the stuffy librarian we got a little glimpse of that here and there but in this episode we get to know it uh, quite for certain that he had quite the wild teenage or young adult years and yeah summoned a demon for fun and this demon is coming now to get him so can Buffy save him? I think we all know that she can and she will but it's still a very interesting and very important episode. It is still a Monster of the Week episode. It's not as if that demon comes back and back again. But we get to know a lot about Giles. So it is quite important for the overall arc. At least for the character arcs. So although we already had one Giles portrait, this is a very important episode for Giles, so he was nominated and elected again. So here is the second Giles, but without glasses. <laughs> we haven't seen him that much without glasses, here you can see him. Because this really phases him and this really strips him of his defenses, which is a sign that his glasses are gone, so yeah. And this is Giles, number two. He is... I think he's... it's... it's, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not exactly the facial expression. The facial expression is the special thing in this picture. I think you can see it to a certain degree. Not perfect, but well. What can you do? I think overall it's pretty competent. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope I'll see you in one of the next videos. 
for that, uh, probably it would be best to give me that thumbs up and uh, to subscribe, ring that bell, and then I'll see you soon. Thank you very much and goodbye. To stop and obey. Now rats can shine, Joker's got silver lining, Holy Mary sings songs in the way.